Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett, and my hands is Other Boy's brand new graphic novel from First Second, and by Damian Alexander. Um, so when I did, did my, like, weekly preview uh, of this, I said I wasn't 100% sure what this was about. We just I just generally knew this was about this kid starting school and decided that, and he decides that he doesn't want to talk, so he's not bullied. That's all I knew. Uh, so going into that, I had my, my guesses as to where the story was going to go. Uh, there was a f couple directions, all of them fairly all related as to, you know, what the story would be about. And uh, I, w I was right with at least one of my guesses. Um, so the story is about, it's, it's kind of, it's based on the, the creator's true life. So he... Uh, his mother was murdered uh, by his father, I use that in quotes, because as he said, a real father is loving and caring and doesn't kill your mother. Um, and he's, uh, he and his brother are sent to live with their grandparents. Uh, they, he has sisters who go off uh, living with others. Um, and he, you know, that's the first thing he has to kind of deal with in his life. And this is a story about him going into, I think, seventh grade. Um, in a new school, and he decides that he's not going to speak, so he doesn't get bullied by these kids. Uh, and so the question is, is why was he getting bullied? Is it because of his mother, the fact that he lives with his grandparents? Um, and, and as we learn is, you know, it, it's a whole bunch of things. Um, there's that, uh, and eventually y you pick up on it, and I don't feel like it's a spoiler, but, you know, he's, he's gay. Uh, this is a, a young boy who discovers that he likes other boys. Um, and it's a, I mean, it's a really, it's a really great graphic novel. Um, the story, I think, is fantastic. Um, if you have a young kid who is trying to figure all that out, or who's being bullied, uh, who might be, you know, who might be LGBT, you know, this feels like a really solid graphic novel for them to read, and, and by the end of it, realize they're not alone. There's other people who get bullied for other reasons, um, that everybody's different, and that, you know, I'm, I'm going to roll my eyes a little bit, but it gets better. Um, it's, a, it's a really solid graphic novel in that way. Uh, you know, it's, it's, there's, there's something very affirming about it. There's something very relatable about it. There's something very positive through all the negative. And what's interesting is the majority of, of the graphic novel is very negative. I mean, it's, it's about this young boy and you're, you're almost expecting the worst to happen. Like I didn't, I didn't know it's based off of the creator's life. So, you know, obviously he's alive and okay. Uh, but you know, I'm sitting there waiting for the worst to happen, just more and more horrible things to happen. And you know, there's times you're guessing that like, Oh, is he going to hurt himself? Is he going to do this? Is he going to like, there, there, there are some moments, um, as an adult, I don't think kids would, would guess that. Um, but, you know, you, you feel the struggle, you feel the pain, you feel the hurt. Um, there's there's a lot of... Uh, the emotion drips off the pages. Um, you, you really feel for the character of this kid, what he's going through. Um, and, you know, it kind of takes you back to your, your childhood, maybe things that you've said, things you experienced. I mean, I was, I was picked on as a kid. Um, I will regularly admit that. Um, and, you know, there was a lot of experiences... That I can relate to, um, you know, I can absolutely relate to, and I think I think most people would. Um, so I mean, I, I just think it's it's a really solid graphic novel that way, and and you know, I'm I'm just thinking of like who this might help. You know, I'm I'm not an expert on these things, but you know, I I, I feel like if I had a, a kid who didn't feel like they felt you know fit in or being bullied, or, you know, as I said, it might be LGBT and, and trying to figure these things out. Um, you know, I, I might give this to them, not to sit there and say, like, hey, this is your path, or like, oh, you know, you, you think you might be LGBT, you are, like that sort of, but more of a, here's pe here's someone you can relate to, and by the end, here's other people you can relate to, um, you know, that, that people who have issues because of the color of their skin, or where they're from, or, or you know, what they're able to do, or not able to do, or how smart they are, what religion they are, or whatever, um, you know, by the end, you there's that, there's that epiphany, there's that coming together of just, you, you are not alone. You're not the only one being bullied, and there's other people to find friendship with and, and come out with your shell and connect with, and, and you can all, you can find your community. Everyone can find their community is, I think, really that lesson of the graphic novel. Like, there, there's a community for everyone. There are people out there for everyone. You just have to look and have to be willing to find them. 
Um, the art I'm a little iffy on, and he describes a style, and I don't disagree with the style. Like, there's this definite influence of kind of like 90s cartoons. Um, it really reminds me of flash art, and, I, and it might sound negative, but like early flash art is what it really, really re reminds me of. It's not my style, um, you know, it's not quite an art style I really dig, but like, it, it grew on me, and it's definitely, I like it more and more uh, as the story goes on. And I think where it, what it actually really does is, if depending on the style, if it was a bit more, I would say, realistic, or you know, just slightly different, it would it would actually create a different tone for the graphic novel and actually might be way more difficult to read. You know, this could be easily something that would be for, you know, maybe 12, 13, 14 year olds and suddenly become 16, 17, 18 year olds, depending on the art style. And I know that might sound weird, but you know, it's that difference of that like scary and that goofy type style. Like it makes a difference. It can, the, it, the art really sets the tone. And I think the art style here makes it a little bit more, I don't know, cartoony is, sounds like the wrong term, but like a bit more uh, easier to take with like really weighty topics. Um, so overall, I, I think this is a really excellent graphic novel. I, I think I've laid out who I think this is good to. Uh, you know, if you're a parent, you know, I, I've come to a lot of these stories as a parent now. If you're a parent with a child who's struggling, like, this even might be worth picking up to read as a parent to remind you that there's someone for your kid, you know, you know, other people for your kid out there. Um, you know, there's just, it's just a really nice lesson and it's a really nice reminder about community and, and, you know, that we're not alone out there. Um, go check it out. It's out in comic shops now. You can go get it. we got a link beneath this video. There is a uh, link where you can try to find your local shop. Uh, if you don't have a local shop, we've got some links as well where you can purchase it. There'll probably be affiliate links, uh, so we get a small percentage by doing that. Y'all support our site, so thank you so much for that. Uh, if you're into comics, if you're into graphic novels, if you're into first, second graphic novels, Check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos. Or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.